Boom, all right, you two is up, man. Been a little minute. Back with another video, man. You know, I promise y'all I was going to get a little micro up, up do a micro build on the AR. So I'm going to show y'all how they go. Can't really show y'all how to put it together because, you know, you two are trying to guideline. Stuff like that. Can't really uh show too much. I'm going to just show y'all how to unbox it there. It's how I can. UP, USPS. Yeah, this how it came. I'm gonna open it real quick. So yeah, how they packaged it. How they packaged it and stuff like that, bro. Remember now, they just the upper. I'm gonna have to pick the lower. I'm, I'm gonna take the black guy upper out that AR and pick this one on. I ain't gonna mess with the binary. I got a micro buffer tool coming in also, man. From the same people that I ordered this upper from. I can get them off. Oh. Know they took their time packaging these motherfucker. They mud, my, my should I say? I forgot you can't cut like that on YouTube no more, man. YouTube squeaky as hell now. Damn paper wrapped to the damn too. All right, so there I come. Little barcode wrapped, taped up on both sides. Bust that tape up on real quick. Bust the tape up. Then they got you a little, a little shipping paper, man. I just took the whole damn plastic off on accident. Trying to pull the damn thing out. Ooh. Ain't she pretty? M lock rails. <coughs> A2 birdcage. Uh, flash hider. You got a little grip for your hand. It even came with the charging hand on it. I ain't know it was going to come with a charger, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, no boat carrier group. Uh, Ford Assist. Five, five inch barrels or four inch handrail. Whatever. Uh, let me see, I'm going um, to do a review. I can't show y'all me pinning it on there, so. I had to snap it together and then do a review on it afterward. I'm going to put it on this lower, though. <clears throat> Did my blackout still. Well, not my blackout, my binary. I'm true. This the blackout. Hold on. All right, so this how the upper look on the lower. This the this the lower that I had the uh, 300 blackout on. And I dropped the charging handle. But this the other lower that I had got from Delta Team Tactical one time. I mean, pretty reliable, but I just wanted something shorter. I probably still get another lower for my blackout. But for the time being, I'm rocking out with the five inch. Show y'all how it look with the third round drum. You know, you two don't let you really have anything over third round. So, you know, third round mad. In the micro, this is how it look. Third round drawn, should I say? Thirty. You know, 
side comparison to my Crosman. Crosman BB gun. Side comparison. About the same exact size. Believe it or not, it's a BB gun. Crosman. What's up, YouTube? Back with another video, man. I know it's been a little minute, but you know, back. I'm finna uh, give y'all a little update on my new beer, Micro ARP. Uh, five minute barrel. This the uh, low I had on my um, 300 Blackout, if y'all remember. I still got my uh, binary. RP. Finna uh, unbox the uh, micro buffer tube that I got from NCA gear. That's why I got the upper from too. Five inch upper. This is uh, this the laser sight in the flat light I got on it. Four hundred lumen. LED flashlight <clears throat> with the blue laser sight. Man, I'm a little sick too if I sound a little funny. Man, it would have been crazy down here. Yeah, I'm finna unbox it and put it on. Yeah, but due to the fact that, you know, uh, YouTube changed their little community standards or whatever, you can't assemble a gun on YouTube no more. So I had to put it together out camera and just show y'all the finished product. Got to blame YouTube, man. I don't know why this shit ain't got some script like that forever, man. Oh, yeah, I st <coughs> still got the Ruger 5 sound, too. Had a, uh, what it called? Damn, what's that shit? Yeah, I'm going to get back to that, though. Yeah, here go the micro buffer tool system. Three and a half inch. Total receipt. No receipt. Yeah, this how it look. Come with the uh Oh no, I don't think I put take that. I ain't gonna take that all that out I don't really, really know what the fuck all this shit is for real, for real, but I'm finna put it together and see do it work. They said you put to take the uh buffer detent spring, lead a buffer detent spring out of the uh lower when you put this back in. Cause it'll catch in the spring and call the gun the malfunction. So a lot of people say they've been having problem with it. <clears throat> but some people say that's the problem. So I'ma see though. I ain't never really seen nobody test it out. And this, like I said, this where I had got the upper and the micro buffer from. This the tool you're going to need to uh, take the buffer wrench off, the buffer screw off, the castanet. This a castanet uh, tool. You can use this for your flash hider right here. Go on like that. See them two slots. Slide around right there. Twist. <clears throat> Dig them in, casting that right there. Find them slot. Slide it in there. Like that. All three slots. Yeah. I got to put it on off camera, then I'm gonna come back to it and with the finished product and show you how it look. New beer, micro ARP. Uh, five inch barrel. This the uh, low I had on my um, 300 blackout, if y'all remember. I still got my uh, binary ARP. Uh, unbox the uh, micro buffer tube 
nigga that I got from SCA gear. That's why I got the upper from him, too. Five inch upper. This is, uh. This the laser sight and the flashlight I got on it. 400 lumen LED flashlight <clears throat> with the blue laser sight. Man, I'm a little sick, too, if I sound a little funny. Man, the world have been crazy down here. Yeah, I'm finna unbot there and put it on. Yeah, but due to the fact that, you know, uh, YouTube changed their little community standards or whatever, you can't assemble a gun on YouTube no more. So I had to put it together off camera and just show y'all the finished product type shit. Gotta blame YouTube, man. I don't know why this shit ain't got some script like that forever, man. Oh yeah, I st <clears throat> still got the Ruger Fire Sound too. Had a uh, what it called? Damn, what's that shit? Called? Yeah, I'm gonna get back to that though. Yeah, here go the micro buffer tool system, three and a half inch. Total seat, no seat. Yeah, this how it look. Come with the, uh, I don't know, I don't think I put the tape that I ain't gonna take the, all that out, I don't really, really know what the fuck all this shit is for real, for real, but I'm finna put it together and see do it work. They said you put to take the, uh, buffer detent spring, lead a buffer detent spring out of the, uh, lower when you put this back in, cause it'll catch in the spring and call the gun and the malfunction, so... A lot of people say they've been having a problem with it. <clears throat> but some people say that's the problem. So I'm going to see, though. I ain't never really seen nobody test it out. And this, like I said, this where I had got the upper and the micro buffer from. All right, so I just put the micro buffer tube on it. And this is how I look with the micro buffer. In the micro barrel, five inch barrel, two point five inch buffer tube is clear. So uh, I made a uh, little short when I first got the the upper with the hundred round drum, but thirty round. Cause you two tripping, so you only can have thirty round. So this is thirty round. But basically, I made a short and it was empty and full of light. Can't, you got uh some shit can't afford bullets, so I went ahead and fill this up for the YouTube credit, man. And it is clear again, you feel me? But yeah, that's how she looks. She's still light. You can see one hand. I'm going to put some sights on her. Uh, probably FDE. Probably put a red dot, a little micro red dot, like a... Something like a pistol sight. Something like that. My vortex. That's what I had on the Ruger 57. Yeah. I had forgot the name earlier, but it was a vortex venom. But when I got it, the uh the sightings were messed up. Like I couldn't sight it in, so I had to send it back. I was gonna order another one. But I've been seeing a lot of people saying that they've been having issues with it. Once again I'm sick, man, so I sound funny, man. Excuse that. But yeah, the uh the micro buffer it come in three different, like three or four different parts. It got the uh spring, uh a little piece that go in the back of the buffer too. I wanna show y'all how to put it together, but YouTube, I take the whole video down saying I'm showing how to put a gun together. Man, it just been a lot of crazy stuff, the YouTube jump, man. But yeah, you gotta before you can't just uh Put this together like a regular buffer too. You gotta first snap the upper on before you put the uh, buffer tube on. You can't take the upper off without taking the buffer tube apart. So the back piece unscrews. You take the buffer tube spring and all the buffer components out through the back. Then you can unsnap the upper and do whatever you gotta do. So whenever you're trying to 
open your gun or you have to take the back of this off and remove the spring and stuff like that. Uh, this is the end play that came with. I, I ain't use it because I wanted to uh, keep the double spring slide mount, double spring mount, sling mount on my swing swivel mount on my uh, back plate. So I left that off. But yeah, man, that pretty much what it came with. This is the buffer tool that was on the Cat Industries buffer tool. Said on it somewhere. Just so dark, you can't see it. CAC Industries. Shockwave. But you know, they banned the blade. So, uh, the Shockwave blade. All, uh, micro braces. Not micro braces. All braces have been banned on AR pistols. Any pistol period can not have a brace on it. Thanks to the ATF. So I had to take them off. So that's why I really, well, I was going to go with the micro buff anyway, but to give me a better reason. But uh, I'm going to end up pinning some lead mad pull pop up sites. This clear too, by the way. Clear mad clear. Uh, I'm going to end up pinning some pop up sites, LDE. On this, it's not complete for all the critics, man. Every time I post a video, they say no sight, no sight. God damn, how you know the damn gun? Finish. Give a nigga time. But yeah, this the uh, laser sight that's on here again. The P35, PS5B highlight on Amazon by $80. Not too bad. Got a couple foot around. I'll show y'all how I look at the foot around there. <clears throat> she real short, man. Real light. She really light with the 40. Put the 30 in there. I had a 60 round, but the spring ended up getting weak. And I don't know. It just went bad. I had it for a good little minute. Mad pull D60. Ended up getting another one sooner or later. I got some anti-walk pins in here. So the uh, trigger, trigger pin won't walk out while I'm shooting. Uh, blue laser sight. I think it's a 400 lumen LED flashlight. Yeah, 400 lumen. Got the speed loader. Come with the drum. Might have to end up getting another 100 round drum because the spring we can this one too. So I don't really use this. This just really for so for real, for real. But I'm gonna get another one though. See how it work. But yeah, man, I'm gonna try to get a uh, shooting video, and I probably end up editing it into this video, then post it. Later, I'll see how it work. I ain't gonna edit it now. If it jam, it jam. Just you know, get out of two. I want to see how it work. My damn self. I took the uh, buffer detent spring out too, by the way. When you use the micro buffer, I was told to leave the buffer detent spring out because it, it'll get caught into the micro buffer spring like this or some shit and cause it to, you know, not, not feed, not shoot or whatever. So I left that out. And then... But, uh, uh, you want to leave a little room. You don't want to thread it all the way to where the buffer detent spring hole was. You want to leave it like, say like this the hole. You want to probably leave it like right here. Screw the buffer to like, at least right here. But yeah. Come on, I'll be